right now outside on the streets we have got protests happening all across Canada. People are very upset about the direction of this government, about what they're doing. They call people that are not uh, vaccinated, anti-vaxxers, and inside the report, Finance Minister says, well, it's about 20% of the population that aren't vaccinated. Well, 20% of the population approximately is, uh, you multiply that by 38 million, you're looking at over 7 million people, 7 million Canadians. He, and the Prime Minister, when he was being interviewed in, in Quebec, was said, well, he was questioning, should we tolerate these people? Should we tolerate these people? That's, that is irresponsible, inflammatory, wrong. It's in, inappropriate. I couldn't believe this. Like, it's terrible, terrible. And that's why there's frustration. Now, I know that they will point to uh, some radicals. And yes, there will be some that are extremists. But they, it is being felt. People are upset. They're losing their jobs. Think if, if the members across the aisle or other people lost their jobs, how would they feel? And it's happening by the tens of thousands. These truckers aren't even able to, many of them are losing their jobs because they cannot drive across the border. Not only does that impact our supply chain, chain issues, raising inflation and costs, but it impacts jobs and the economy. The people are, uh, are upset. And Madam Speaker, I know that uh, they'll say, well, it's for health. Well, you know, here's some things. People need to be able to make their own health care decisions. We support that. I'm doubly vaccinated. Uh, but guess what? I had, I had COVID. I wasn't here the past couple weeks. I had COVID, my wife and I. You know, being doubly vaccinated, having COVID. A person that is vaccinated can carry just as much as the, the person that doesn't. I'd like to read this one uh, little letter here before closing. This is from a, a lawyer, a female lawyer, 35 years old, says this, I'm an ultra marathon runner, spent eight, nine uh, hours, possibly 10 hours a day running. Before that, I was a varsity cap, uh, uh, athlete at a university here in Ontario. She's from, lives in my riding though, and has always, to have been, always been fit would be an understatement. I have no pre-existing conditions. When I got the vaccine and started having chest pains and operating at a max threshold, even on walks, doubling, tripling her heart rate. She says, as it stands, I'm a 30 year old with, with chronic heart pains that, and it, she's feeling it constantly. Can, even when on a slow walk, she cannot, she cannot, uh, she goes out of breath. Please, she says, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I actually make a lot of money defending the largest pharmaceutical companies. But with that comes a knowledge that sometimes mistakes are made and sometimes we don't. Honorable members, time is up and so.